are rolling again. Welcome back. Hello. What are we working on? Split personality one short story chunk thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a thing. Yeah, so watch, uh, if, you, if you can find it, watch the previous episode. We will explain everything in length there. But basically, this is a previous work of Nox. And now we are going over that work and shifting out stuff that we can use and working piece of a larger uh, relay story into material for a source story. And it's been, it's been good, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's nice to get back into this old material. As cringy as it may be, I mean that's not the point of what we're doing. We're just pulling the stuff out and seeing what we can use. Restructuring. Or not even restructuring. We're structuring at this point. It's not <laughs> restructuring about it. We are structuring. So we've worked out who we are. We've worked out where we are. Uh, actually, the text doesn't really have anything in it to indicate who we are. We've only worked out that we are at the spaceport district or, or a storage uh, storage area near a spaceport. It is a shady area, not very nice, dark, rainy, etc. And uh, and uh, decommissioned ships are being used as as a storage base and warehouses and, and whatnot. And at this point, there has we have yet to make. The first impression of the characters. I think I was just talking in in a notes perspective. We've got the notes of where and who we are. It's just a case of. Well, we don't we don't have the who. Not all of them. Not yet. We we have the uh, we have the let's say external perspective that we have two hooded figures. Mm hmm. Uh. that we can't detect much about but uh, but we, we haven't actually met the characters yet no yet no so basically i would say that the next objective or next agenda should be to actually make acquaintance with the characters uh for where are and this, and uh, I'm going to hop ahead a little bit again and say that uh, we m you might need to tweak the narration distance here a little bit. I don't know. Like right now, the viewpoint is clearly outside of them, and it will remain outside of them. I think. I think there's a point where we end up going a bit closer, um, but we should, we should, if we can, we should try and keep that distance. Oh really? What does that give you exactly? The, the I think I'm thinking about this too deeply, like uh. When I go into discussing them on further details, it's it's me making my sweeping generalizations and stuff like that. I need to avoid that, but we can get closer to them. Yes, uh, because I, I think that once we get to their mission, like the, the shit that they have been sent out here to do, it's going to be difficult to describe all that from, uh, from further perspective. Yeah. Like... Uh, like greater distance is is all hunky dory for describing the port district that has uh, derelict ships for warehouses, but uh, but it's not really useful for you know zooming in on the characters. Yeah. So again, ignore all the cringe phrases and all that. This is this this is basically a first draft. Mm -hmm. All all the shittiness is inherent to it. We just need to distill the 
the purpose of different parts of the text and then fulfill that purpose according to our current skill set. So how how do we resolve this? Do we in the it, at the beginning do we maintain the distant voice or do we try and come a bit closer with that voice? I I would I would make a clear break immediately like once the uh, once the surroundings have been described then the camera zooms in and like snap and I would break the silence by one of them immediately speaking up. And you would uh, break the silence, did you say? Whatever. So one of, one of them speaks up, basically. So break the scenery, if you will. So it's kind of like if you think about the last chapter of Seeker, there was this sort of uh, uh, long undulating description of uh, of the place, and then a sort of summary of what uh, uh, what Jewel and Fortune had been doing, and then the cut from this sort of generalized description was so this is the place <laughs> so a, a dialogue line cuts into the yeah. into the scenery basically of course uh, in this case the two characters could be uh, doing a whole lot of stuff before they actually speak up so there could be synchronized moves uh, uh, delegation of tasks without explicitly saying so uh, you know bas basically giving the idea that they they do have a report and they act in they behave in report even without uh, or especially without having to say some stuff out loud. So this way you would have to remain a little bit more distant. But it would still be way closer than uh, than describing the, the sky and the and the ships and such. And then after they've done all the stuff in tandem, then break into it with a word. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so with basically this, this means they would have to do a series of things. They would have to, I don't know, uh, move from shadow to shadow. Mm. Uh, and this, uh, this is like, the two figures move from shadow to shadow, they're identical blah 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 covering their blah 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 and then taking positions uh, on at near whatever uh, the the access way of a wh wherever they're going maybe there's some alarm disabling in the in the process or an imp mm -hmm. that fries a lock or whatever Maybe one of them could uh, perform uh, perform a deed using their special abilities that works as an imp. Ooh. Maybe they. Ooh. Maybe they do it. Uh, maybe they both do it at the same time. Uh, from two sides of the hatch to scramble the the magnetic lock or whatever. Techno bubble, techno bubble, techno bubble. <laughs> I, will, I will work it out later. I will work yeah. out something that makes sense. But uh, basically, they they provide an each of them provides an electromagnetic uh, discharge that messes up the locking mechanisms, and they gain access that way. Oh, 
or it messes up the locking protocols and now they can access the uh, emergency manual da -da -da -da. That's, uh, <coughs> and the, the the reason to mention this is because I think uh, I think the sort of manual unlocking in emergencies should be should be like a standard feature for many ships of many generations so you can have all the electronics and all the fancy shit you want but uh, when there is an actual emergency it is possible to override all that and uh, and open shit manually Oh, getting chilly in here. Hmm. And once they have once they have done all that and uh, and they have gained access and maybe are stepping into somewhat illuminated area, that's where you can uh, get uh, get the idea across that they are uh, wearing uh, some sort of face mesh mesh filter thing visor mm -hmm. uh, over uh, or under their hoods and uh, and that uh, you can't see much except that they seem to have like identical body shapes and so basically while they are in full gear they look identical mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, again, hopping back and forth in the story, I don't even know at the moment how you would get to the, uh, how it would make sense to uh, get to the point uh, that uh, that their faces are revealed, and you can actually give some description. Yeah, that's a tricky one, that, isn't it? Because right now, uh, as it stands, they they don't really have a have a good reason to uh, to get their masks off or anything. It's it's like uh, when you watch action films, and as the hero is going in to do a battle, he uh, takes his helmet yeah. off, and it's like, what are you doing? This is the point you need that, surely. So it's kind of similar to that, not really the same. <laughs> it's it's like the uh, the episode, the Lindy Page episode on bio bio tapestry. Mm -hmm. Like there was, I, I don't I don't remember who it was, French King or something. I th I don't really un I I like the bio tapestry, but I don't really understand the story. Like I, whose side am I meant to be cheering for in this one? You know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're not. <laughs> He lifted his visor up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, ah, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Philip. Who are you again? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that. So maybe they don't even get their masks off until, uh, until uh, they have already escaped the whole situation, or. Uh, during the fight, uh, some part of the mask gets torn off. Okay. By by accident. I mean, I can note that. But that that you can only use that once. <laughs> like you can uh, you can maybe uh, uh, maybe uh, give like. A glimpse of an eye, so so maybe the uh, maybe one visor is slashed during the fight, uh, and somebody gets a glimpse of an eye that is uh, unmistakably human, and at the same time, 
uh, there is something different about it or, or like the the iris uh, texture was all wrong or so, whatever Itis the iris or whatever <laughs> 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 Eva! <laughs> so, uh, when, when we're hopping back in time again to the external description, uh, I wouldn't maybe say thin veils, but more like filter mesh covered their whole faces, or filter mesh visor. Covered their faces under the what what whatever you could ha could have seen of their faces from under the thick hoods was covered in uh, in dark filter mesh visor whatever. <laughs> yeah, the notes are in there, right? Mm -hmm. Face guard. What a weird word. Okay. So from uh, from the point where they have gained access uh, so from the, from the point on where they gain access to the ship slash warehouse they will make their way to point the mark mm -hmm. which uh, allows for some dialogue maybe but uh, but not too much. Mm. Wait a second. Was their mark still alive when they reach him? I, I can't remember. Yeah, he's still. They they are the ones who kill him. Okay. So uh, so when they reach their mark, uh, that's where some revelation uh, revelation heavy uh, dialogue could uh, could be presented. Like reclaimers, or although this this guy doesn't doesn't know it, I don't know. But yeah, basically, uh, we could learn a lot about uh, their background and their being through their adversaries. So we can drop in some hints uh, through what their mark says. And uh, and we can drop in even more hints uh, for the fight itself. So let's say so somebody cuts through one of their uh, uh, face meshes and uh, and gets a glimpse of an eye, unmistakably human, but blah blah blah. And all and th and then it uh, then they notice the uh, uh, the marking whatever. And like, oh my god, reclaimers! Mm. Oh my god, reclaimers! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I did, because uh, it's just notes, I will do this. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We can't use, uh, oh my god, anyway, in any circumstance unless we can back it up with the uh, yeah. religion anyway, so <laughs> obviously just notes. Yeah. And again, uh, while they are inside the... Uh, when as, as they gain access to the, to the place and as they make way to their mark and as they fend off the uh, offenders, 
this is this is your chance to demonstrate again through their actions that they are working in unison without having to actually externally communicate. Oh, in sync is probably the wrong word, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, Synchronized movements. I think that's. Pr is that pretty much everything? Mm. So I make the words the they fight off offenders. I, I, I don't even know where you are. <laughs> oh. just, I just keep yapping. Because right right now I'm sort of all over the place, and also the uh, the reveal that they can't part uh, should be at the very end. Okay, so you're writing everything in here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so they should have a disagreement in the end about uh, about what what they what they should do next or whatever. And uh, probably Rogue will will snap and and say like you're you're free to go where wherever you you want to go like I'm I'm gonna do that you're free to go wherever you want to go and he's like you know I can't nor can you. Yeah, and that's where they can share the thought, or oh, even better, they don't have to say it out loud. They can, you know, think it out loud, and in this case, we we won't uh, we won't present it as a as an inner thought, but we will present it as a dialogue line, but uh, but specify that it is. It is uh, the dialogue is happening inside their heads without uh, without verbally communicating. Oh, Google's like, did you mean shaded area? No, I definitely mean no. shady area. <laughs> did you mean O'Reilly? Google, you're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> That covers the connection. We get to see races. I'm thinking out loud. Um, mm -hmm. Grasp on the location. You got any thoughts about their target? Uh, I can't. Um, I'm reading over that part now can't remember much but the target is basically in on the whole thing like he he knows yeah he knows about their mission he knows uh, that he's there as the uh, as the blerk <laughs> so basically the, the target is kind of nonchalant about the whole shit and uh, and he, he could uh, drop in some ominous stuff maybe so like he he could uh, uh, he could uh, spell out their names, for example. Oh. And that would lead... Okay, so this then leads nicely on to later on when Luna and Rogue are snapping at one another. It's like, how the fuck did he know who we were? Blah, 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 all that sort mm -hmm. of thing. It just mm -hmm. panics them a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh. It's like, oh, it's you. I have been expecting you. Well, get over with it. Mm. Or 
like let's let's get this over with and uh this uh this is a little bit tangential right now oh mate <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Ooh, my. Uh, this, <laughs> this, this is somewhat tangential right now, but uh, this clearly orchestrated hit that again derails the cozy assassin life of uh, these two ladies uh, should probably at some point link to the main arc again. Like again, this uh, this could be uh, another example of. Uh, uh, of servo style meddling which might it might not be direct it might be some uh, I don't know dele delegated task of a delegated task of a delegated task mm. so like it's 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 several steps removed from the HQ thing but it is again a a thing a, some some sort of uh, meddling to uh, kick certain characters off their beaten path. And mm -hmm. and this and this mark could be like this mark uh, is probably Murphy operative or or Murphy affiliated who who knows that uh, this version of them will have to go because reasons like may maybe maybe this one will have to be eliminated ex exactly because another version of this person uh, is planned to be planted into this uh, this timeline and uh, and they don't see they don't they don't think that this particular version has a, has a value so they will just eliminate him <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, sorry, I'll be right back, the bell just dinged. Uh okay. do you wanna bang this the bank do you wanna bang this recording? Uh do you wanna bank this recording and we'll I think so because we have we have so many notes now and we have made things things well complicated, so <laughs> it's it's probably gonna take some more effort to sort this all out. Yeah. It's been fun. And this recording stops now, but uh, we might carry on later on. Yep. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.